really good pepper bacon. And with Maryberry pancakes, scone, biscuits. We're getting ready to make our way back to Roseburg. Bye bye hotel. It's foxglove just growing in the wild. We took a different route home from Florence this time, going through Eugene, so we could do a little toy hunting, and tried to go see Kentucky Falls on the way to Eugene from Florence. But it is quite a drive up to that waterfall. Now back to trying to find this waterfall. <laughs> Man, this waterfall is up here. What do you think, man? We might actually turn back. Very pretty. Boy, that is quite a view. It's crazy silent. The road was very windy and steep. We were still about six miles away from the waterfall, and as far as we could tell, the road was not paved. We were already pretty high up there, and we didn't want to risk any car problems, so we turned back. It's supposed to be beautiful, though. I would very much like to try again sometime when we have a little more time. Great scene right here, the hills. I don't think we have this. Aqua again. We've got graphite, and Mia found these. 11th Ave, Eugene, Oregon. I wanted to give Eugene Toys R Us one more try in case they got any of the new Dino Supercharged stuff in. They still have an army of Kimberly. There's Tommy. Most of these are Kimberly. Crazy. We still have some Megaforce figures. Super Megaforce. If you're looking for the new keys, they're here. This is a beer garden, which I don't entirely care for, but those flowers! It's a wall of flowers. Oh, they've got shoes right there, look. Right there, man. Ooh, I want to go there. Me and I both had those. Now, how about these? There's Mike the Sewer Surfer. I had those three. <gasps> that was for my, my Disney train. I had a Disney train. And the Dick Tracy Thermos, I had that too. There's Murdude, Tattoo, Triceraton. I love Tozen Down Don. Oh, the McDonald's Fraggle. Did you need a Pippi, man? I've never actually seen this as a full pack. I see a Mastodon. Alan. <laughs> These are like the trains I used to buy when I was a little kid. Crispy Critters book. That truck, though. If y'all are in Eugene, you should hit up Nostalgia Collectibles, great stuff. NYS Michaels. Okay, here we are. Remember these? Got Megazord, there's Tor, there's uh, Ultrazord. Well, I guess sliced a monster a little too hard. Dinosaurs. Uh, Power Rangers. That's an awesome hit girl. Do you see this, man? It's Ninja Turtle right. cards from 89. Someone wants a card. <laughs> That's a cute taco place. You want a taco? Here's Morning Glory. I wonder what the story is with this place. Growers Market. Look at the train place. Look at the train place. Here's the original pancake house. So I guess this place has been here forever and we never tried it. So Bangkok West tonight. There's an eyeball on my plate. That's fine. That looks good. And more chicken? <laughs> Mia will be unusually successful in business. Okay. The 12th was our last day in Oregon. We went to Costco and got some coffee. And I get a little bit of coffee. Yes, that clip was a little bit misleading. No, we did not get that little amount of coffee. We got a lot more. I can only hold so much at a time, you know. Got some editing done, did some packing, and then of course we had our last dinner at Los Dos Amigos. Mia's favorite Mexican place. It is a good Mexican place. Except they always burn Mia's food. I don't get it. They set it on fire. It's gotta be a fire hazard, right? And I make a wish. Mia got her flaming dinner. That looks good. I always get the number three. <laughs> and then on the 13th, we made our way back to California. We've been traveling for a long time. We've been traveling since April. And I would really like to tell you guys about our initial sudden suspicious road trip. But can't talk about it yet. Hopefully soon. I know everyone's really at the edge of their seat. <laughs> First 150 miles or so of leaving is pretty, and then 
Not too long after you cross into California, it starts to get ugly. Like the Mount Shasta area is still pretty. And then it's just like 600 miles of flat, colorless nothing. It's not the most thrilling drive and people get very aggressive. Lots of traffic because people are driving aggressively, not working with each other, getting into wrecks. We drove through three wrecks on the way home. Oh, are we home? He just threw the water. Why did he do that? He just slapped his dog and then threw a bucket of water at us. He slapped his, well he poured water into a bucket for the dog. And, and the, the dog, dog didn't want it? Yeah. And so like he slapped him. <sighs> and then got frustrated and threw the water at us. <laughs> But then after a not so wonderful drive, we thought we'd have a really nice, fancy dinner. So we went to the finest McDonald's. Wouldn't that be the same water though? Is it? Is In the drink? Yeah, you got some bottled water. <laughs> One person is talking about the water. They said the water at this hotel was black and oily. How do you die with your bottled water, Mia? <laughs> I think you guys already know how snobby Mia is. She wouldn't drink the water from the machine because it had a chemical aftertaste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, really, I thought it was a nice change because we had been going to this mm, kind of dumpy restaurant where they make you look at the ocean and they bring you all this food that doesn't even have one fly swarming it. I mean, what is up with that? They, would it kill them to add a few flies? Not one fly, Mia. How do you know it's good without the flies swarming? That's what I'm saying. I couldn't even taste the water. Yeah, there's not a whole lot once you're on the road. It's kind of like McDonald's, maybe Subway. If you're lucky, Taco Bell. Oh, was that gross. Yuck. So that's enough of our trip home. So then, then the next day, we were gonna go out toy hunting once we were back here, try to find some stuff for the other channel because, you know, we haven't been posting the way we used to because we've been away. We went outside and I'm like smelling this like burning plastic sulfury smell in the air today. Like or maybe like, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Back in California. And loving it. I kind of like to know what that smell is. Smells like something you shouldn't be breathing. Like the sky was like this weird color. Our first stop was Toys R Us in Porter Ranch. And I, I asked the guy, I'm like, is there like anything weird happening today? There's like a really weird smell. And the guy goes, no, no, no. <laughs> He was like so offended. I'm like, you don't smell anything? He goes, no. Okay. Like, I think I personally offended him by, by suggesting there was this really odd and like, like dizzying smell in the air, which was actually visible and you could taste it in the back of your throat. But I posted on Facebook and Instagram, like nobody could smell it, see it, taste it, feel it, anything. It was like just me and Mia. Like, no one else noticed it was the weirdest thing. But then I did find on AOL News that there was a big fire and it was burning, what was it, Mia? It was some factory that exploded. Right. right, and it was toxic air alert, whatever it was. Okay, no one else noticed but us. <laughs> I'm just like sticking this at the end of the video because I want to like try to be better about posting more positive stuff. It's really hard to do here. I was really enjoying the Oregon vlogs because everything was so colorful and pretty and naturey, and you know, I wasn't so agitated. But, you know, you come back here and it's just like, the color is gone, the heat. There's aggression, there's the trash everywhere. It's like, did somebody turn off the color, really? What happened to the color? Mia, where's my color? I don't know. I need, to, I need the color. Oh, and of course, police helicopters. Did you miss those, Mia? No. 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 I edited out a lot of the blech, and I'm not gonna put it in. I'm gonna really end here, because it really consumes me, and I don't wanna focus on that, because I think we have a lot of really good stuff coming this year, I hope. I think we do. Oh, I almost forgot I have to work this in. I got jury duty. Every single time we go away, Mia or I get jury duty. So while we were on the East Coast, Jerry had to scan me the Fakakta jury duty thing because uh, they give you like five days to respond or you could go to prison for two life terms or something like that, right, Mia? Like that. <laughs> uh, and they put you in a little, like a, remember your locker like in middle school or high school, I guess? You, you have to live in one of those things and they, they have like a torch like a, a prod thing that, that's burning and they poke you with it for, for all eternity. Wait, do they put you in the choking? Yes, with the spikes. That's what they do if you don't... I'm only half kidding. <laughs> so, um, 
it, it's it's like you could almost put it on the calendar. They they just love us. They love Mia more, but they love me too. I'm their second choice. There's only, what, 90 million people in LA, so, you know, it's hard to find people to do jury duty. And Mia and I are the best jurors ever. Two months after they try to get Mia, I get a thing, because, of course, we weren't here. I love how on the phone they say, how many days does your employer pay for jury duty? I selected zero. Thank you, you're confirmed for jury duty. I will guess I'll know on Monday, this this coming Monday, if I have to go downtown. Supposed to, we're uh, having a heat record on Monday. It, it could take me four hours to get there. Quote unquote, rare dangerous heat. All right. And Mittens will be frying, but that's okay, because he's annoying. Yeah. Yes, you'll have coat on. Yeah, that's right. You want me to take a coat off, Mittens? Okay, I'm gonna take it off in just a sec. I do want to respond to comments, so I'll try to do it in our next vlog. But I'm gonna end here. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Maybe check out some older vlogs. I'll be back soon with more good videos, and good night.